a celebration of a lifetime, classic moments, a time to live, and what many felt for poetry, Neo Soul, today. We will also be mentioning the importance of artists like Erica Badu, Lauren Hill, who incorporated poetry into rapping and singing. So, in an era of mass redefined nation, Neo Soul is one genre that took the best features of previous music moments and left the rest behind. Motown Records, an infamous Detroit based record label. The likes of artists D'Angelo, Erica Badu, Lauren Hill, Out of the Ordinary for Origin Instrumental and Lyric, amongst most more, honored their craft in constructing this movement in their own ways. The origins of contemporary R&B from the late 1980s play a major part and a major role in Neo Soul, a fusion of R&B with electric music, hip hop, funk, and more served as the predominant new fronters, a fusion that provided a canvas for the new interpreters of Neo Soul. Whatever happened to Neo Soul? At the beginning of the 2000s, following the breakout success of multiple Neo Soul artists, the style became to see a decline in listeners. Speculation of its decline mainly attributes to the authenticity originators of the musical movement as clashing with the industry behaviors aimed at producing mainstream music. Lauren Hill even touched on that. So music never died, it just became less mainstream and became and became neo soul and alternative R and B. When contemporary R&B styles became to take over in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s, guys such as Loose Ends, Shade, Prince, Soul to Soul, Tony Tony, Mint Condition, D'Angelo, Maxwell, Erica Badu, Lauren Hill, Raphael, Jill Scott, Shannon Jones, The Kings, etc. continued the tradition of King's music and soul music. In most recent times, guys like Andre Young, Mayer, just released a new album. Also, The Lining Bridge, Alex Isling, and Black Pumas just released new albums. There are also guys that are out here that are performing vintage soul and funk like Never Left. Heck, even new jazz fusion artists like Butcher Brown, Lexter, and many, many more checked out and also became to find themselves on the back end of Neo Soul as far as their albums go. Their albums can be found on Bandcamp or YouTube if you want some vintage, laid-back jazz soul and funk grooves. One commenter wrote, I feel like soul left R&B when labels and producers decided to fully merge R&B with pop music. Like when companies realized they could market Rihanna and Beyonce to broader audience, you stopped hearing radio ballads. The raw emotions that are used to be found in Mary J songs were no longer mainstream. The attitude and funk was removed for me. Everything has felt flavorless since about 2008 to 2009. Neo so different from contemporary R&B with its use of instruments and screening and sampling approach R&B had adapted from hip hop. Although hip hop had some influence on Neo so, the genre looked back more to older R&B and soul music for inspiration. Who is the mother of Neo so? Erica Badu. Erica Badu, the first lady of Neo so. Neo Soul artists entered the 1990s music scene when hardcore hip hop and R&B were the two most popular and crossover forms of contemporary black expression. Many of Neo Soul intubators were born in the 1970s to parents who grew up in the era of black power and soul music. <laughs>